What's going on, B-Risers? Hope you're doing well. We be rising every day. You guys, check out. These beautiful flowers. Got had to bring those in there, you guys know that. And I got a question from one of you beautiful bees, Sue Kenya, hopefully pronounce your name right, says, uh, hi, I love your videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Could you do a video on skincare and hair care for women dealing with issues you mentioned? Because all those body care products claiming to be natural tend to have things that re wreak havoc on the hormones. Thank you so much for your excellent question. This is so important. Today we're just going to cover skin care, but also hair care is really important. I got my, by the way, I got my blue, I've been on the computer a lot, so I got these blue light glasses to take some, take out some of the radiation. I'm just testing them out um, just to see my thoughts on them. So I got these glasses on, I spent a lot of time on the computer, which is, is not the best with all the radiation. Of course, natural light is the best getting outside in nature. Um, but uh, this is such an important topic. Our skin is our largest eliminative organ. It's our third kidney. And what a lot of dermatologists uh, and skin specialists I've been to many of you guys with me having skin cancer and acne. Uh, they don't look at nutrition. They don't even look at health problems being related with the fuel you're bringing in every day. And so a lot of them are just trained, um, you know, on just treatment with is which is pharmaceuticals. And then they may prescribe you creams, lotions. And if we look at a lot of the ingredients in these uh, medications and creams, there's a lot of chemicals in these so-called skin care products. They're not really caring for your skin. And I'm coming out with this today, and I'm not going to you know name any of these big companies. Uh, I have to protect myself as, uh, as well. So I'm just going to be showing you some of these very popular skin care uh, products. Very, very popular. You'll see celebrities advertising for them. And they just are getting paid a lot of money to advertise these products when there's a lot of chemicals. And, and these chemicals are not good for the skin. And a lot of these products are tested on animals as well, which is so unfortunate because if we just look at our basic fuel that we're bringing in, we'll see that we can heal the skin, but it has to be healed inside out. And if we're getting, you know, pimples, boils, zits on the skin, we have to look at nutrition. We have to look at what are we eating every day as well as stress. Of course, that can play impact on our hormones. Um, so this is not something that you're going to hear typically from your maybe your specialist. There are a lot of great specialists out there and they do really want to help people, but uh, a lot of them aren't trained in nutrition. And again, they, from what I've dealt with in, in my skin cancer and the acne, I was put on tetracycline for almost a year. And uh, the side effects were uh, yellowing of the teeth, sensitivity to the skin. And I feel like that contributed later on to my skin cancer. So I'm now, you guys know a lot about, <laughs> I'm about natural uh, healing. If you haven't caught on to that already, I healed myself from ovarian cysts and endometriosis and acne and bowel problems, you name it, with the power of food as well as changing my lifestyle, but and analyzing and reducing stress. But I really look at healing inside out. And I'm just want to share with you guys, some of these products that you're being sold, you know, through the media, through advertisements, through these quote unquote celebrities that you may think are trying to help you. And they may be just unaware and unconscious 
of the contracts that they're signing themselves into. But if we just look at these popular skincare products, always read the ingredients of what you're putting on your skin. Why? Well, as I mentioned in the beginning, your skin is your largest eliminative organ. What we put on our skin is going to get absorbed into our body. And a lot of times if our body is, if our immune system's low, uh, we can't eliminate that. And our skin needs to be sweating as well. So our skin needs to help to eliminate toxins. So if we're putting creams and lotions on our skin, that's just going to clog our pores, especially if these are chemicals. Now, if we go in the sun, which we need vitamin D, it's an essential hormone for our body, also really good for viruses and, and just uh, inc bumping up our immune system. If we're going out in the sun with all these chemicals on our skin, imagine that interaction of, of say you're in the sun for too long and it burns that on your skin. It's really not good. And we need to also be sweating to eliminate toxins out of our skin. So we don't, we really want to take care of our skin and it's our largest eliminative organ. So we don't want to put harsh chemicals on the skin and that will get absorbed in the body and also create, you know, problems on our other organs. And so we want to take care of our skin and we want to look at the nutrition, first of all, that we're bringing in our body every day. Before we get into what I use naturally um, to care for the skin, I just want to show you guys some popular, these are very popular skin care products. In the, these are the ingredients. So we want to make sure that we're reading the ingredients of everything that we're putting on our skin. And again, these are popular, popular, popular uh, skincare lines that are putting out their advertisements. Now, if we look at some of these ingredients, let's just open some up here. I got a few. All right. So a lot of times they just use a lot of the first ingredients always going to have the most in that product, right? And it's just like the food that you buy. And if you, you know, we read the labels on a lot of these canned food boxes, box food, you'll see that there's so many ingredients, you know, a lot of them, the cakes and the bakeries and there's so many preservatives and nitrates to keep the foods lasting long on the shelves. There's also a lot of color added in these foods. So always read the ingredients of everything that you're putting in your body and on your body. So the first ingredient is going to have the most in the product. And you can see here is water, right? So a lot of people are paying so much money for these products when a lot of it is just fillers like water. Now look at all these ingredients here, you guys. We can't even pronounce, right, some of these ingredients. Try methicone. Try methicone. That is, I believe, silicone that you're putting on your skin. Silicate, uh, glu glucosamine. A lot of these are acids. Suca like, we can't even pronounce PPG18, diamethicone. Uh, acrylides, copolymer, like oxyphenol. So we got al alcohols as well as a lot. <laughs> and some of these are like plastics. Uh, it's, it's horrible. Colors added. So if you cannot make out the name, I, I personally don't buy it. If I don't know exactly what it is, I can't pronounce it, I do not buy it. A lot of these are chemicals, high uh, acids that we're putting on our skin, and a lot of them are fillers, you know, uh, pl plastics and whatnot. This is not good to be putting on the skin. And does it get to the root cause of your issue, right? That's the, that's the bottom line here that I look at is cause and effect. And does this just like mask the symptoms? Are they looking at the root cause? And a lot of times they're not. They're not looking at the root cause of why do you have acne? Why do you have rosacea? Why do you have boils? And it comes down to diet and lifestyle. Now, if we look at another popular uh, 
product here again they got water they got color added sugar alcohol perfumes in there uh, EDTA these are these are um, extreme chemicals and acids that we're putting on the skin here you know copy and paste each one of these ingredients in uh, your search engine and I'll tell you exactly what these are and that's what's going on in the skin again it doesn't get to the root cause of why you have acne it's just a masking the symptoms just covering it up so where do we go on here 10 minutes okay I want to make this a quick video I know people don't have too much time but I, I obviously don't have that much time to get into all of these different skincare products but makeup also there's a lot of makeup products out there that contain harsh chemicals don't be don't be uh, fooled in to the labels of quote unquote natural they use they can use that uh, you know <laughs> to uh, get you to think it's natural when a lot of these you can already see these ingredients are not natural they're they're chem harsh chemicals a lot of fillers and you're you're losing a lot of money and that's why i'm not i'm not putting down any companies here uh, because they are making a lot of money off, cons off consumers and unfortunately uh, uh that's why i'm doing this video because it's it didn't help me you guys right these just masked my symptoms, my acne. And so what I did was I looked at the root cause of why do I have ovarian cysts? Why do I have acne, endometriosis? My whole system is down. I am not sweating well. First of all, I need to sweat. I need to open up my pores. I need to open up my skin to start eliminating toxins. But I also need to change my diet. I also need to look at the fuel that I'm bringing in my body. Now, uh, if you guys have been following me, you'll see that I look at Mother Nature, whole foods from Mother Nature, hit from the sun, that grow on the tree, that grow on the vine, that grow you know, in the garden, that uh, will help our microbiome. A lot of people have dysbiosis and a lot of problems in their gut, which also uh, causes inflammation and, and a lot of these skin problems. But... Uh, we want to get back to nature, first of all. A lot, a lot of the even the processed foods, the junk, the junk foods that we're eating, that we're bringing in every day, these uh, fast food chains are high oil. A lot of the the foods out there are also have high chemicals in there, uh, and a lot of sugar, salt, um, oils, and dairy also uh, high. Um, it's very mucus forming in the body and creates a lot of imbalances hormonally and so we bring all this processed food junk food in the body that causes uh, a lot of inflammation and a lot of mucus and uh, especially junk foods can create a lot of acne a lot of boils because the skin's trying to eliminate these mucus forming foods so what we want to look at first and foremost is what fuel you're bringing into your body so I look again at Mother Nature, whole foods hit from the sun from Mother Nature that are grown on a plant and less grown in a plant, a <laughs> factory, industry. So what do I have here, you guys? This is a green smoothie. And this is so cleansing, detoxifying for your body. And again, we're healing inside out. So I got a bunch of leafy greens in here, mixed greens. Uh, we got you know, some healthy fats in there too, which I'm going to get into. Uh, you know, I got like coconut yogurt, really good. Always read the ingredients, everything you're buying. Um, I have a banana, um, but you can make your own, but no, you know what's going in here, right? So I got some leafy greens, banana. We got broccoli, which is a uh, cruciferous vegetable, uh, anti-cancer properties in the cruciferous vegetables, and coconut. What else I put in there? Some hemp seeds. So it's a very cleansing, detoxifying smoothie. You know, greens are really good for your body, for your skin, for your microbiome. And I really talk a lot about greens. So this is one of the best ways, just having a green smoothie for breakfast, for lunch, every day, if you can get that in. 
The next thing I want to talk about is eating some healthy fats like avocados. You can even put this on your skin. You can even make your own cream to put on your skin. And for, um, for what I love, I have my own aloe vera plant. Now aloe vera is super hydrating for the skin and really good. You know, if you, I got a lot of sunburns in, in the past and this is super hydrating for the skin. Uh, there's, you guys can look up, I can make this video so long, but so many benefits to aloe vera. Uh, so that's another one of my favorite uh, skincare products as well as 100% organic coconut oil. Okay, so this is natural, uh, again, from the plant, very hydrating for the skin. And that's, that's it, that's all I use, you guys. And just with nutrition, diet, lifestyle, minimizing stress, because we don't wanna be pumping cortisol, which will you know, uh, imbalance our other hormones, but we also don't want to be eating a lot of the dairy and the milks out there, the cheeses, that's just gonna clog our body up and it's got, it has a lot of hormones, estrogen in there. So we don't want to imbalance our hormones. We wanna make sure that we are bringing in whole foods from mother nature and that don't have these hormones and that don't have processed foods, junk foods, oils. That's what's really killing the skin and we want to make sure that we're opening up our skin too, that we're moving our lymphatic system. So I love to jump on a rebounder. I love to do some light exercises just to get the skin sweating. Some people uh, go into saunas, uh, but if your skin is inflamed already, you probably don't want to be doing the saunas uh, because it's already, you're already going to be, you're already hot. You're already on fire. So you want to, before I would say before that, before going into the saunas, you want to start cooling down, bringing in cucumbers, celery, sorry, that's also what I have in here, forgot about that. Uh, cooling foods, cucumbers, celery, leafy greens, avocados, aloe vera, uh, the coconut, right? Making sure you're reading all the ingredients on the labels, making sure that you're putting in whole foods in your body and you start that detoxification cleansing phase. That is caring for your skin. That's the true skincare. And uh, I think I'm running, yeah, we're at 20 minutes. So that's the true skincare for me is keeping it whole, keeping it simple, and starting within, starting with the fuel that you're bringing in every day and not uh, putting harsh chemicals on your skin because you want your, or your pores to open up. You want to start the eliminative channels, start opening up your bowels, your skin, your kidneys, and your airways right? That's our eliminative channels to eliminate toxins. So that's uh, what I wanted to get out there today. Thank you so much for your question. Great question. I will do more videos on this because we just got to the surface. <laughs> There's so much more to get into you guys, but remember, always read the labels of what you're buying. You could be wasting money, thousands of dollars, and I'm here to help you to save you money. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I've been there, you guys. I've been down that hole of getting nowhere, keep going to skin specialists, keep getting um, my skin cut open, surgery, and never getting to the root cause. So I always look at cause and effect and addressing cause, not just treating the effects or masking the effects with chemicals. So uh, make sure that you're reading everything that you are putting in your body and on your body. Make sure that you are opening up your skin, you're taking care of your skin, and addressing the root cause. Hope this video helped you out. Please give us a thumbs up so we can share this far and wide so people can start saving money, start healing themselves, and stop uh, paying for products that are hurting them and not getting anywhere. So thank you guys, and stay tuned for more videos. As always, be your beautiful selves. Don't change for no one. Be getting in some healthy, whole foods today, and be getting in some nature. Mother Nature. When you do that, when we all do that, we'll all be rising.